The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN. Up today, US softens, UK hardens its stance on spying on your emails. Plus, who is the most dangerous woman in the world? But first, should I invest in Bitcoin? Welcome to The Red Couch, the web show about internet freedom and security. Cash? What's this? A fuzzy picture of a fat old hippie? Ha! <laughs> Coins? What are these? Maybe they'll buy me a flag and a veil in the inns of Westeros. Credit card? Whoa, too heavy for my pocket. Credit card on my phone? Wow, but my phone already has my internet emails, photos, music, videos, and my poetry. How long before it takes my heart, my lungs, and my hair? Money must go digital, but is Bitcoin the future? Built by a strange Japanese person who vanished in 2011, the virtual currency is now gaining in popularity. How does it work? Well, powerful computers compete to solve maths problems and are rewarded with a code that is a Bitcoin. It's like making money out of nothing and giving it as a prize to the best player of Candy Crush Saga. Crazy? Yes, but is it any less insane than printing money in the middle of a financial crisis? Bitcoin allows you to buy and sell online without using a credit card. You can purchase with anonymity. It's like using cash on the web. But last month, the FBI busted online drug retailer Silk Road, which bought and sold ganja and pills for bitcoins. Following the raid, the FBI collected $27 million worth of bitcoins from the suspected founder of Silk Road, Ross Ulbricht. Bitcoin was established as an unregulated currency which removes government financial meddling from our lives. But now, the US government is becoming one of the biggest single owners of bitcoins. The FBI's Bitcoin wallet is detailed here. And this is a list of people sending more bitcoins to this wallet. Why are people giving the FBI money? Because when you pay with bitcoins, you can leave a message which appears as a public note. Therefore, it's a way of talking to the FBI for activists. Dear FBI, please free Barrett Brown and drop the charges. Hashtag free BB. And idiots. FBI are silly faggots. Hope you enjoy being faggots. Please stop violating our freedoms. Love, Julian Assange. Now, I doubt this is the real Julian Assange because I think the founder of WikiLeaks knows the correct spelling of faggots. So now, agents Mulder, Scully, Cooper and Starling are all loaded. So what can they spend their bitcoins on? Well, an Arthurian night bookend in two-tone metallic set a two. Or a piece of nightwear which says, I simply walked into Mordor and all I got were these lousy pyjamas. The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost 5, which allows you to surf the web securely and gives you anonymity online. America wants to reform its mass surveillance of the planet's emails. But Britain is cracking down on supporters of freedom of information. UK Prime Minister David Cameron is attacking The Guardian newspaper for revealing that America and Britain are spying on the world. If newspapers do not submit to government advice on security issues, Cameron said he may act. Meanwhile, in America, US lawmakers are grilling the country's top spies for failing to inform them that they were snooping on 35 world leaders. Both Republicans and Democrats agree that they should limit the powers of the National Security Agency. This is like Mossad and Hezbollah agreeing to celebrate Christmas together. Meanwhile, across the pond, the UK newspaper The Sun, the official publication of the British government, has an exclusive. What's this? The Twin Towers have been blown up again? No, but they could be. Spies! We've lost our terror plotters. Spy bosses have lost track of terrorists plotting atrocities because of CIA fugitive Edward Snowden's leaks. The sun can reveal. <laughs> to access the rest of the article, I have to pay one pound, about 1.5 American dollars. 
I don't think I'd bother. I'd rather stick the money at my <laughs> Who's this? According to the National Security Agency, she is the most dangerous woman in the world. She comes from somewhere called Germany. I don't understand. So I decided to ask a German. Herr Robert, ich kenne Sachsen, Bayern, Württemberg und Preußen. Aber was hat es mit diesem Deutschland auf sich? Deutschland, ich, ich, ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich, äh, Deutschland ist ein sehr multikulturelles, sehr offenes, sehr liberales Land. Und für alle, die es nicht wissen, Deutschland ist das Land, wo alle Autos herkommen. Äh, so kennt man uns eigentlich. Und ähm, ich, ich, ich habe immer gedacht, dass, dass, dass Deutschland ein sehr, sehr freundliches Land ist. Ähm, aber nachdem die, die NSA und Barack Obama das, das Handy unserer Bundeskanzlerin ab, abhören, bin ich bin ich wirklich skeptisch geworden. Ich bin unsicher. Ich, ich weiß nicht mehr, ob, ob, wir, ob, wir, ob wir wirklich gut, gut sind und, 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 und ob unser, unser, unser Einfluss auf die Welt tatsächlich positiv ist. Und ich habe ein bisschen im Internet recherchiert. Google weiß alles und die NSA weiß alles. Und äh, ich habe einen, einen Pizza-Delivery-Dienst gefunden, der heißt, der heißt Lieferheld, Delivery Hero. Und der, der Chef dieses Pizza-Delivery-Dienstes, der hat 2012 der Presse die Information gegeben, dass er sich wünscht, dass Pizza Delivery Hero Weltmarktführer, Weltmarktführer wird. Wer ist diese Frau? Bisher dachte ich immer, das ist Angela Merkel, unsere Bundeskanzlerin. Aber offensichtlich steht sie unter Terrorverdacht und, und äh, wer weiß, wer sich hinter dieser Maske, hinter dieser fiesen, widerlichen Maske wirklich verbirgt. Ich weiß es nicht. Ist sie die gefährlichste Frau der Welt? Sie ist zumindest die, 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 die gemeingefährlichste Frau der Welt, die aktuell unter Beobachtung steht. Offensichtlich. Und ich habe keinen Anlass. Das hat auch unser Innenminister Friedrich neulich zu Protokoll gegeben. Ich habe keinen Anlass, den Amerikanern nicht zu trauen. Also offensichtlich ist Angela Merkel genauso gefährlich wie wir alle, denn wir alle werden überwacht und abgehört. Und wenn Angela Merkel abgehört wird, dann scheint da was dahinter zu stecken. Und, und, und ich glaube, dass Angela Merkel seit acht Jahren nur spielt, Bundeskanzlerin der Bundesrepublik Deutschland zu sein. Wahrscheinlich steckt hinter dieser fiesen Maskerade eine Mörderin, die versucht, Hollande, andere Staatsüberhäupter, vielleicht Barack Obama, in einem Terroranschlag in ein paar Monaten umzubringen. Ich habe wirklich, wirklich, wirklich Angst.